If you've been creating a web app with hosting your horizons, you may have thought about how to make it more visually appealing or more user friendly. And if that's the case, you have clicked on the right video, because today I'll share seven web app design tips so your creation looks good and provides the best user experience. So let's get straight into it. So first off, it's really important to have an idea or a vision of what you want your web app to really look like. If you're not sure about that or don't know how to describe the look or feel, you can just name drop a familiar one that really inspires you. For example, you can tell Hosting Your Horizons to implement swipe navigation like the one in Tinder. Or if you're making a language learning tool, you can reference, let's say, Duolingo. And giving Horizons examples like these helps it better understand what you're really looking for and going for, and not just in features, but in the look and the user flow and the vibe as well. However, I mean, if possible, try not to copy and paste apps directly. I mean, while you can say something like what I've got on the screen right now, you can just see the prompt right here. Uh, I mean, it's better to just describe what you like in complete detail and really make it your own. So try going for a prompt like this one instead. Or you can also upload screenshots of, you know, layouts, buttons, color schemes, or anything else that you absolutely love. Just click the upload file button in the prompt box and then describe whatever you want. I wrote something like this out in my previous example. And I mean, the more clearly you guide hosting your horizons, the better your app will look and feel. Now, my next tip is to really pay attention to the navigation and make sure it's really intuitive. Good navigation is the backbone of a user-friendly app. Menus, headers, and sidebars should make it really easy for users to move around and find what they need and find it really fast. And if you're wondering how to actually achieve that, well, there are just a few simple rules to it. For instance, try to use at least 12 pixels of padding between each item so they don't feel really crammed up. Then keep all of the menu font sizes at least 16 pixels. This will do absolute wonders to your web app's readability. Next is to avoid deep menu hierarchies. I mean, keep them at two levels max for simplicity's sake, because a lot of levels can make it really, really overwhelming. And finally, add aria roles. And if you're wondering what those are, they basically are there to provide meaning to content, allowing screen readers and other tools to really interpret your menus. And this will really improve accessibility for all of your users. And of course, naturally, you'll need to let Horizons know all of the above considerations, and you can create a great top navigation menu easily with just a prompt that goes something, let's say like this, create a sticky top navigation bar with a transparent background and a thin separator line. Menu should expand on hover, include ARIA labels, so my web app is accessible to screen readers and keyboard. Now this is just a prompt that I wrote out earlier, so you can just tweak it to your liking, but it's just an example for you to have. But I mean, navigation doesn't have to be really complex, but it should always feel really effortless. And by paying attention to these four guidelines that I just mentioned, you'll make sure that your web app not only attracts users, but actually retains them. Now, my next tip concerns your web app's buttons. Now, their importance can't be understated. They are really important. They guide users through the app and allow them to actually, I mean, well, do things with it. So unless they're clear, clickable, and consistent, your app's users won't just have a good time on your app. So start by defining finding two types of buttons, primary and secondary. Now, primary buttons are for main actions like submit or buy now, things like that. And these should really stand out with bold colors and really clear labels. Meanwhile, the secondary buttons are for less important actions like let's say cancel or go back. And these should be more subtle so they don't compete for attention with the primary buttons. And it's also really important to make all buttons at least 44 by 44 pixels, so they're really easy to tap even on mobile. While we're at it, actually, you should point out that they should have rounded corners too. This will make them feel more modern and user-friendly because those really square ones, they, I mean, they just don't look good. And so, I mean, how do we translate all of this we just talked about to a prompt that Hostinger Horizons would understand? Well, that's actually really easy. All you need to do is just be really specific. So again, I pre-prepped a prompt here, so I said something like, style primary buttons with a bold blue and make 8px rounded corners, make secondary buttons light gray with a subtle border. And that's basically it. And I mean, guys,
guys, check out these results. The buttons are now exactly as we want them. And remember to keep the button styles also very consistent across your app to build trust and make the navigation really seamless. I mean, small details like this go a really long way in making your app feel really professional. Okay, so next, let's move on to white space. And to put it really simply, it's the area between your web app's design elements. It separates sections, improves readability, and just helps users focus on what actually matters. Without enough of it, your app can feel really cramped up and really confusing and just not appealing at all. But with the right spacing, everything will feel easier to read and to navigate as well for your users, which is what we want exactly. And actually, there are a couple of guides lines you should really know here. So first off, a rule of thumb is to allow 40 to 60 pixels between sections for really clear breaks. Then you should also leave 16 to 24 pixels between elements like buttons, images, and form fields. Finally, try to add 10 to 16 pixels of padding around text blocks to make them easier to parse. And now let's turn these guidelines once again into a prompt Horizons can actually use. So again, guys, I've done all of this before so a prompt I did was use at least 20 pixels of padding between sections and 10 pixels of margins around elements. Apply 40 pixel spacing between major sections for a clean structured layout. So I wrote out something like this and just like that the design becomes so much easier on the eyes and it's much more usable as well. As for my next tip I would really like to examine your web app's fonts because they're important. When you look at them what do you think and feel? I mean that's really important. Are they easy to read? Do they look good? You know, ask all of these questions because let's face it, the right font feels modern, clear, and really professional. The wrong one, well, it's... I mean, it says instantly amateur. That's why it's important to go with fonts that balance readability and style. And for the best user experience, make sure to really implement this. And I mean, in a nutshell, what I recommend is using really clean sans serif fonts. I mean, Inter Roboto, Open Sans are just like a few really great fonts that will look really good on pretty much any web app or design out there. And really avoid decorative or ultra thin fonts because they are hard to read and especially on small screens. And when you do actually find the fonts that you like, really try to stick to one or max two to keep things cohesive because going with too many may negatively impact the design and readability of your web app. And ideally, you should go with one font for the body text and another for headings and buttons. Now, with regards to font size and weight, there are a few best practices here as well. First, aim to have your headings at between 24 and 32 pixels. Now, subheadings naturally should be a bit smaller, between 18 and 22 pixels. Buttons should be bold and measure between 16 and 18 pixels. And finally, body text is the easiest to read when it's between 14 and 16 pixels tall. And one more thing here is always maintain high contrast between your text and the background so the fonts are just easier to read. And once again, you can use prompts to experiment with different fonts. For example, for my web app, what I went with was you Use Open Sans for body text, set it to 16 pixels, then use Roboto for headings and buttons, set headings to 24 pixels, subheadings to 20 pixels, and buttons to 17 pixels bold. And I mean, if you don't like the end result, you can always find different fonts, different sizes, and tell Horizons to just change the design and just keep at it until you love what you see, basically. Now, here's an important point for you. Good design directs the user's attention to the important bits. And that is my next tip. <laughs> Try to establish a visual hierarchy with the background and color palettes. And naturally, there are a few shortcuts that you can implement without actually becoming, you know, a professional designer. For starters, use contrast to great effect. It's really the best way to make key elements really stand out. Just remember to avoid extremes like, you know, pure black on white or something like that, because you really don't want to cause eye strain. And for backgrounds, try to stick to really soft tones and simple palettes. One or two colors is, I mean, completely plenty. Also, avoid busy patterns as they can be really distracting to the eye and, I mean, just basically don't add anything that could be mistaken for an optical illusion. And as for the prompt, I came up with something like this. So I basically told Horizons to set the background to off-white and use black and raspberry.
memory red for the foreground elements. Now, check this out. This is what I got, and my eyes are already drawn to the buttons just because of the way the colors work together. I mean, that is just awesome. And now, guys, it is time for my final tip, and it concerns images and icons, and they do way more than just make your app look nice. They also guide users, highlight actions, and help just communicate your content way more clearly. Icons especially can really replace or support text and menus, making navigation just easier and also, I mean, make it look nicer. So if you are, let's say for example, making an educational app using illustrations or step-by-step -step visuals can really make the instructions easier to follow and make them just look way more engaging. And to get the images and icons right, I'll introduce you to some best practices here as well. So first off, it's really important to use the right sizes. Aim for image resolution of around 2000 by 2000 pixels and just keep your icons at 128 by 128 pixels as well. Because anything larger and you might risk slowing your web app down by a lot. Also, just remember to keep all aspect ratios really consistent. Otherwise, your web app will just look really wrong and just drive your users the other way. Also, I mean, square images work really well across most layouts, so you can always use those. And while you're at it, always include alt text. Like Ariel Rolls that I spoke about earlier, it's an effective way to make sure your web app is accessible and can be understood by screen readers. Also, Horizon supports lazy look Loading, so just enable it because it's a really great way to just speed up your web app as it will make the visuals load only as the users scroll. And finally, only include images and icons that really add value because just too many of them and random ones will clutter your app and make it that much harder to just use. And always follow these guidelines when uploading new images and icons. And just in case you notice something a little bit off about your visual that's already there, you can always submit a screenshot of your web app with the problem part in the screenshot marked and you can use a browser extension for the screenshot and then it's just a matter of writing the right prompt to actually fix it. So here's an example of what I did. So I uploaded the screenshot and said in the screenshot I attached the image I want to adjust is inside the red square. Match its aspect ratio to the others and to all other images, enable lazy loading and add descriptive alt text. And look at that fixed and absolutely beautiful. And guys, that is all for today. Follow these seven tips and your web app will look as professional as anything released by a seasoned team of developers and designers, just trust me. And if you've got any extra tips or a question maybe, leave a comment down below. And if you watched this video and haven't tried Hosting Your Horizons just yet, now is the time to do so. So just click the link down below in the description and also make sure to use our discount code HZN10 to get 10% off your plan. And with our 30 day money back guarantee, you can try AI powered web app creation completely risk free because you can cancel it later on. So go ahead, build your web app and launch it with just one click. And while you're at it, drop by the Hosting Your Horizons Discord community, you know, for product news and tips on web app creation and lots of other fun stuff. And if you found this video helpful, just drop us a like and also consider subscribing to Hosting Your Academy for more helpful videos just like this one in the future. Now, thank you so much for watching and best of luck with your web apps and your designs.